or not, if that gives you a little bit more length in your spine, so that your hips are below, or your legs are below your hips. And then just take a moment to align your shoulders over your hips, your head over your shoulders. And then inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, pause, exhale, three, two, one. Feel your body settling in, calming. Inhale, five, if you can, two, three, four, pause there, or five, pause, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, four or five, two, three, four, five, pause, see that you're okay, and exhale, four, three, two, one, finally, five or six, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, pause, you're okay, and five, four, three, two, one. One more time, inhale, one, two. See how much space you can create. Pause, exhale. Nice. Today I'm gonna to focus on creating more space for whatever it is that you wanna bring into your life. You decide what that is. Take a moment, inhale into your intention. Exhale, visualize yourself in that space. Good, inhale into your intention. What are you wearing? How are you dressed? Where are you? Who are you with? And then one more time, inhale deeply into your intention. What other details can you add? Are you in the forest? Are you on the mountains? Are you in your home? Nice, exhale, release, good. And then from here, let's take our hands on our hips, lift our shoulders up, back, and down. Good, bring your elbows forward, up, back, and down. Good, keeping them down, tuck your chin, inhale, exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Good, inhale, exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Good, inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Take your right hand to the edge of your head and do a little no, do a little yes, see what feels good to you. Return your hand, exhale, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Good, left fingertips on your head, do a no or a yes. Nice, exhale, release. And then grab your thumbs if you can and pull your shoulders back. If you can't grab your thumbs, then just have your hands facing each other. Pull your hands away from you. Nice, and then exhale, come forward. Nice, inhale, come on up, good. And then let's remove the block. Switch which leg is in front. Lift up tall again, and let's stretch our wrists a little. Good, so go to the right. Good, open your fingers, switch the grip, go to the left. 
Nice. Nice. And then make your way onto your backs, taking yourself to the top of the mat, taking your fingertips to the floor, and then see if you can slide your fingertips towards each other and push your elbows towards the ground. Inhale. Exhale, pull those elbows down. Try and keep a 90 degree angle with your arms. Good, inhale, pull your fingers towards each other. Good, exhale, pull your elbows down. Good, one more time. Inhale, pull your fingers towards each other. Good, exhale, pull your fingers down and then press in your elbows as much as you can, press in your hands as much as you can. Feel a little arch in between your shoulder blades. Nice, exhale, release, nice. And then take your elbows next to you, making those fists, press into the backs of your shoulders, press into your feet, lift your hips up. If it helps, come up onto your toes. Inhale, good, bring your booty back. Exhale, good, press in your elbows, backs of your shoulders, lift your hips, inhale. Good, bring your booty back, exhale. One more time, press in your elbows, lift your hips, inhale, pressing into the backs of your shoulders, lifting your heels if that helps. Good, and then stay there and either grab the sides of the mat, turn your elbows up, or walk your hands underneath you, keeping them straight. Good. And then release your hands. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Take your legs from side to side. So opening those hips. Good. Left knee drops, right knee drops. Good. Right knee drops, left knee drops. One more time, both knees drop to the right and then take your right ankle on your left knee and let that outer left hip open, keeping your arms maybe in scarecrow or out to a T. So turn the other way, take your feet wide, Amanda, wider. Good, take both of them to the right and then take your right ankle onto your left knee. Yes, nice. And then if you're like, I don't even like that, go back to the other thing we normally do. Good, come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Grab behind your legs, do a happy baby. Nice, feet to the ground, wide. Take both of your knees to the left. Have them wide. You can stay there, that's an option. Or take your left foot onto your right knee, deep in that stretch and that outer right hip. Nice, so same thing for you, Marianne. Take your feet wide, your knees are, you're not twisting, unless you hate this, and maybe you're doing it for that reason. Nice. All right, and then come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Good. And then take your right ankle onto your left knee, hug that knee in, and then either, if you can keep your shoulders on the ground, take your hand behind that left leg. If your shoulders are rolling forward, Press that right hand into your right knee, pull that right foot towards you, open that right hip. Breathe. Good, and then point your left toes towards the ground. Inhale, bring that left leg up. Good, exhale, pull your heel towards your booty. Good, inhale, bring that left leg up. Exhale, bring your heel towards your booty. Good, inhale, bring that left leg up. Pull it as much as you can towards you. Push that right ankle into your left knee and then take your hands behind your head, lift your chest towards your leg. Get a little core work. Let's do some crunches here. Five, four, try and look up at the sky, not towards your legs so that your um, back stays long. Good. Bring that left foot down, take your hands off to the side, take a twist. Good, bringing that right foot to the ground, pushing into that right foot, that outer left foot, and then pull that right knee towards you. Nice. Good, 
Come back to center. Take your right hand behind your right knee on your right ankle. Let's do half happy baby here. So grab that right foot out to the side. Do some kicks here. Nice. Right foot to the ground. Good. And then take your left ankle onto your right knee. Take a moment here. Really push that left knee away with your leg. Good. Then you can bring your foot up. Same options. If you can hold your leg with your shoulders on the ground, you can do that. Otherwise, push that left knee away. Pull that left foot towards you. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Engage your core. Good. Point your right toes towards the ground. Inhale, send that right leg up. Exhale, bring that booty to your heel. Good. Inhale, send that right leg up. Exhale, bring your booty to your heel. Good. Inhale, send that right leg up. Keep that pressure between your leg and your thigh. Lift your head, hands behind your head to protect your neck. And then look up so that it's, you stay long here. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then bring your right foot down. Take your hands out to the side. Twist. Get that left foot onto the ground. Press in your right ankle. Nice. And then bring that left knee across. And I see that some of you just went to bring your knee across. Excellent. That feels better in your body. Good for you. Breathe and lengthen through your side body. Good. Come back to center. Take a half happy baby with your left leg. So if you can grab your foot easily, do that. Otherwise, grab your knee, grab your ankle, and just kick that leg out to the side. Nice. Good job, you guys. And then let's try and do both legs. So maybe with both legs, you go behind your knees. Maybe that's more accessible. Maybe you grab your ankles. Maybe you can grab your feet. Doing a straddle on our back, maybe pulsing it up and down, opening out those adductors. Good. And then either turn to the side or rock and roll up. We're going to make our way on to our bellies. Open up those adductors a little bit more. So I want to do what I'm going to call this wide puppy pose, not quite frog yet. We're going to ease into it. So I want to open up our shoulders in a wide puppy. So I'm going to go like this. So instead of being here, I just want it to be a little bit here. We're going to go towards your frog in a minute, Marianne. Don't you worry. Take that right arm under. Push your right ear into the ground or onto a block. Squeeze your pelvic floor and press into the back of your right hand. Press into the back of your right shoulder. And pull your hips over to the right. Nice. From here, come on up. Keep your legs like this or take this leg out and then come forward and back. Getting those adductors. Nice. Come back to center. Notice the difference between your inner right thigh, your inner left thigh. Good. And then if you want, go a little wider or stay where you are. Bring your chest forward, thread that left arm underneath, press your left ear into the ground, onto a blanket, onto a block. Good. Pressing into that right hand and the back of your left fingertips, maybe turning your gaze up to the sky, getting your neck a little bit. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Keep your legs like this. That's fine. That's fine. Or take that left leg out. That's going to be harder. Yeah. So you should feel it in your inner thigh. And this is the area that's kind of tight that needs to open up so that your lordosis opens up a little bit. Nice. And then from here, see if you can go a little bit wider or stay where you are. Press your elbows, press your knees into the ground. 
and then release rocking forward and back. I can hear you crying, Amanda. <laughs> Good. Press your knees into the ground. Good. Come forward and back. Nice. Good. Stay here for one more round of breath. Nice. And then let's just make our way into puppy pose. So bring your hands all the way wide, bring your knees a little closer together. Come on to your fingertips, pulse your chin or your forehead towards the mat. Nice. And then in this position, we're going to do cat cow. So round your upper back with the top of your head hang. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Bring your chest down. Good. Inhale. Open up your back. Good. Exhale. Bring your chest down. One more time. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Nice. And then from here, let's slide our hands in, bring your right foot forward, your left knee down. Hands on your thigh, press down into that left knee, let's pulse it forward. So let's try and bring your shoulders over your hips. Nice, pulse that left hip. Nice. Good, and then tuck that left toe under, keep your shoulders overhead, stay there or give yourself a kick, strengthening that quad. Nice, and then keep your foot here or if it's simple for you, reach back and grab your left foot. Don't like make some contorted position to do it. That's fine, that's fine. Nice, and then Bring your hips back and let's get those hamstrings. So dig your heel. Nice. Pull. 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 Good. Come back onto all fours. Nice. Grip the mat with your hands. Come forward. Hold that. Good. Come back to child's pose. Good, come forward to plank and then pass plank, hold that, squeeze your belly. Good, come back to child's pose. Good, come forward, pass plank, hold that, and then make your way onto the ground. Take your hands next to your sides. So we're gonna do a combination of a locust and then cobra. So take your hands next to you, lift your shoulders up, back, and together. And if you can, hook your thumbs. If you can't, you can grab a strap, you can grab a block. Then lift your chest, squeeze your arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Take your hands next to you, lift your shoulders, pull your elbows towards each other low cobra or medium cobra nice coming back from all fours and then puppy pose or downward facing dog puppy pose or downward facing dog nice if you're in puppy pose you're on your knees you're on your fingertips if you're in down dog, you're pedaling out your legs, letting your hips sway from side to side. Feeling that nice opening in your outer hips. Good. Come down onto all fours. Bring your left foot forward, right knee down. Good. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Hands on your hips again, pulling your elbows towards each other. Now put some weight in that front foot. Good. Pull that right hip forward. Nice. Good. Nice. Then hands can be on your thigh, hands can be on a block. That's Farzanay's trick. I'm gonna let you see all Farzanay's trick. Kick yourself with your legs. So strengthening the back of your hamstrings. 
try and stay upright. If your right knee hurts, you can put a blanket under your knee, you can fold your um, mat over. Good, and then either stay there, just strengthening that hamstring, that's a perfectly lovely. All right, so on that side, Amanda, it works for you. So our legs are different. Good, find that length in your spine, don't dump in your back, so go upright, yes. Nice, exhale, release. Pull that left hip back. Maybe pulse that left hamstring. Nice. Good. Come back to center. Hands on the ground. Good. Grip the mat with your hands. Come forward to plank on your knees. Hold it. Squeeze your belly. Come back to child's pose. Come forward to plank on your knees. See how far forward. See if you can look forward. Good. Come back to child's pose. Good. Come forward to plank on your knees and then make your way onto the ground. Same options, either interlace your hands, grab a strap. Good, lift those shoulders up. Send your pubic bone into the mat. Lift your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, right arm on top of left, bend your knees, go from side to side. Nice, and then slide your fingertips next to your chest. Lift those elbows up, together. Cobra, medium cobra. Good. And then puppy pose or downward facing dog. Good, if you're in down dog, I want you to grip the mat and look at your feet. Now, bend your right knee and then straighten your left leg and turn your heel towards your right toes. Push into your feet and that left hip should go up and you should feel a nice stretch in your left glute. Good, then come back to center. Bend both knees, bring your head towards your arms so that you've got a long spine. Then look at your toes. Good, bend your left knee straighten your right leg and then turn that heel towards your toes your left toes press into your hands send your booty up get a nice stretch in your right booty nice and then either walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands whatever works for you good come into a fold nice twist to the right twist to the left Good, in the house, sweep your arms up. Nice, exhale, hands to your heart. Nice, from here, let's do some standing flow. So we'll just go in the house, arms up. Nice, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, hands on your knees, lift and lengthen your spine. Good. And then bring your hands to prayer, come into chair prayer. Good, get that booty a little bit lower, Marianne. Good, nice. Push into that left foot, come onto your right toes. And then lift and lower that right leg. Lift and lower. Lift, bring your chest forward, kick that right leg back, come into warrior one. Good, turn your hips towards the front of the mat, pull those elbows back, nice. And then let's take our thumbs behind us, roll those shoulders back, grab your hands, or grab a band. Good, here's what we're gonna do that's different. So Liz, I hope you're on the wall. We're gonna shift forward, then grab with your toes. I want you to use your toes like fingers. I want you to see if you can pull your wrists off of your back. Maybe your toes stay on the mat. Maybe they come up a little bit. Maybe they come into warrior three, four, three, two, 
one, and then come back to warrior one. Nice. Send your arms up, inhale. Good, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, good. And then from here, straighten that left leg, pushing your feet, take your hands onto your thigh, pyramid pose. Good, keep your right hand on your thigh, take your left hand on your low back, press off that back foot again, and twist over to the left. Try and pull that left shoulder back, try and press with that back foot. Nice. Inhale, back to center, good. Hands to the mat, come to downward facing dog. Nice. Stay in down dog or down dog, plank. Down dog, plank, good. And then maybe down into locust one more time, hands next to you or thumbs interlaced. Lift those shoulders up, send that pubic bone in, lift your chest. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Left arm on top of right, turn your head to the right. Nice, and then come back to center, bring your fingertips next to your chest, pull those elbows up and together, push on up. Poppy pose, child's pose, or downward facing dog. Good. And then bend that right knee, turn that left heel towards your right foot. Press and open that outer left hip. Breathe. Come back to center, bend your left knee, turn that right heel towards your left toes. Press into that outer right hip. Nice. Come back to center. Nice. And then walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Do a fold, twist to the right, twist to the left. Good, sweep your arms up, hands to your heart. Good, come back to the front. Good, inhale, arms up, press in your feet, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, chair pose. Put your weight into your right foot. Take the weight out of your left foot. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good, lift and press in that right foot. Squeeze your belly, look forward as you send your left leg back. Nice. And then just make sure you're wide enough. Press equally into your legs, pull those shoulders back. Nice. Bend your front knee, hook your thumbs, open up your chest. Good. Come forward. Nice, pulling those arms off. Come on up, good. And then hands to prayer or hands in front of you, bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Good, bend and straighten. And then hands on that thigh, pull that right hip back, pull that left hip forward. Keep your left hand on your right thigh, right hand on your low back, twist across that leg. Nice. Twist your chest towards that front door. Yep. Feel a stretch in your left calf. Nice. Inhale, come back to center. Pull those shoulders in, back and down. Good. Come on to your left toes, pull those arms away. Take your uh, upper body parallel with the floor. Then maybe just come to your toes, lengthen your spine. Maybe lift a little bit. Maybe push in that left foot, lift all the way up. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, nice. Come back to warrior one. Nice. Hands to the mat. Come to downward facing dog. Good, and then let's make our way onto the floor. And we're gonna do Sphinx Pose. Good. All right, 
So hands on the floor or hands uh, or side of your hands on the floor. Whatever you're doing, push down, lift your chest, press into your pelvic floor. Nice. Interlace your hands and then lift your hips or lift your hips and your knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down, hips down. And then I want you to, I'm gonna do it on, on the uh, wall so you can see me. If you can, I want you to take that right elbow above your shoulder, left hand next to you and twist. That's more of a strengthening pose. If that's too much for you, then go back to what we normally do, have the arm straight, do more of an opening pose. So take that right arm out to the side, elbow is above your shoulder, left hand is next to your chest, turn, nice. Left leg can be stacked on top of right or it can be behind. Nice, come back to center. Go to the other side. So take your right hand next to your chest. Take your left elbow above your shoulder. Press in that right hand, stack your right leg on top of your left. We're mostly focusing on our pecs right now on our shoulder. Then you can add bringing your right foot behind you. Nice, again, if this doesn't feel good, you can straighten that arm. Nice. Come back to center, good. And then come back into Sphinx pose. So either pinkies down or palms down, press in those elbows, pull those shoulders back, squeeze that pelvic floor, nice. And then interlace your hands, press down into your elbows, lift your hips, find that length, look forward, or lift your hips and your knees. Five, four, three, two, one, knees down, hips down, good. And then make that little steeple over on the right side of your mat. So press into your fingertips, pull those shoulders back, bend that right leg. Reach that right arm back and see if you can grab it. Good, push your foot into your hand. What if this isn't accessible? Come on to your left elbow and do it this way. If that's not working for you, just come on to your side body and do it that way. Nice. Good, and then meet me on your side body anyway. Bend your knees. Make a fist with your left hand so that you're strong. And then lift your hips. Maybe straighten this right leg. Maybe bring this arm up and overhead. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back down. Take this top leg behind you. Lift your arm up, lift your hips up. Wild thing. Yeah, wild thing. You can even sing it if you want. Nice, exhale, come back down. Nice. Low cobra, medium cobra. Good. Child's pose. Good, and then let's come on to the other side. Good job, you guys. Now I have to remember what I did. Okay, so on this side, let's do, um, I'm gonna say, let's just come on to this side. Good, make a fist, lift your hips, squeeze, straighten that left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Good, press into that elbow, find that leg. Take that left leg behind you, lift your hips, maybe you're on your toe, lift that left arm up. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back down, bend that top leg, kick your foot. I just think this is more accessible and why not do it this way, right? So push your foot into your hand, hand into your foot. 
Nice. Inhale, come on up, come on back. Good. And then just for grins, take your hands next to you, lift your chest, and then see if you can bring your legs toward your hands, see where you go. If you can reach them, push your foot into your hands. If you can't reach them, come onto your left and do it. And then come to center, come onto your right and do it. Just be like a kid. Just have a little fun. Nice. 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 Good. And then child's pose. Good job. Nice. And then from here, we're going to try a little bit harder or not. So I want you to come into, um, so here's the harder version. Downward facing dog. Come on, Amanda. Downward facing dog. Come part way to plank. Bring your right hand to the middle of the mat. If that hurts your wrist, come onto your elbow. Then turn your legs so you're here. Good. If this isn't working, come onto your knees, okay? So you're either here or you're here. Good, and then see if you can bring that left leg behind you. Open up. Yeah. Nice. Good. Come back to down dog. Bend your knees, take a moment. Good, I'm gonna turn around so I can see you. Good, from down dog, come part way to plank so that you strengthen your spine. Take your left hand to the middle, turn. Okay, maybe your knees are bent. Maybe your knees are on the ground, maybe your knees are bent. Good, then take that right leg behind you. Straighten your left leg, send your hips up towards the sky. Nice, come on down. All right. I don't know if Amanda likes me still, but I appreciate you trying that. <laughs> nice, good job you guys. All right, let's do a little bit of um, warrior two. So it's not gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna come on up to warrior two. Give our wrists a little break. Nice. Turn your right foot in line with the long edge of the mat. Line up your heel with your arch or your heel. So look at your own feet. Warrior two, your hips are facing me, Marianne. Warrior two, your hips should be facing the screen. Good, bend your front knee and straighten. Yep, bend. So now we're strengthening these muscles. Good, now pull your shoulders back, nice. And then this time, take your right arm up, so lift, bend your elbow, take your left arm up, grab that right elbow, keeping your head to your arm. Or if you're more open here, take that left thumb down, interlace your hands, or make fists. I'm just making the fists. Nice. Good. Come to the side, keeping that length. Nice, and then take your right forearm on your thigh, reach that left arm overhead. Good. Nice, inhale, come on up. Good. Take your feet parallel, let's go side to side. Get those inner thighs again. Nice, do a fold. Good, inhale, come on up, turn your left foot out, look at your feet, heel to heel. I have to bring my right foot forward and I have to kick my right heel out. Good, start with your hands on your hips, pulling your shoulders back and just having good form in your hips. Nice, you guys. Take your time, building those muscles. Nice, pause, press your feet into the ground, bring that left arm up, bend your elbow, head into your arm. Good, bring that right arm up, grab that elbow. Maybe you stay here. Good, maybe you reach that right hand behind you and make a fist. Push in those legs, pull those shoulders back. 
Good, come to the side. Nice. Nice. Good, and then left forearm on your thigh, right arm up and over, press. Reach. Nice. Good, inhale, come on up, feet parallel. Go to the wall if you're gonna use it, or not if you're not, I'm gonna go for that sugar cane pose where we grab our back leg, so I'm going to the wall. Start with your feet in triangle, a little bit shorter. Have your block. Good, turn that right foot out, same angle as warrior two. My booty is on the wall, you can slowly push off the wall if you want, good. Let's just take your left hand on your hip, bend your right knee. Good. And then slide the block forward and just stay here. Press your hand into the block. Pull that top shoulder back. So don't, you don't need to look down, Mary, and I promise the block won't go anywhere. Good. Use your toes as fingers, right? Activate everything, elongate everything, and then from there, push that left foot away. Flex it. Push. Give it a kick. Beautiful. Then if you want, bring your heel towards the, onto the wall. Yes, you don't have to grab it for it to count, Marianne. It's counting, it's counting. Counts for me. Nice, exhale, release, come back down. Nice, excellent. Let's go the other way. So the shorter stance, take that, Block about a foot in front of your foot and press into it. Find that strength there. That's your support, right? So push into that. Push off your back toes. Point or flex. Kick it up. Flex it. Flex it. So nice. So nice. Yes. Pull that top shoulder back and then maybe bend your foot into the wall. Yes. Nice, you guys. Maybe grab that foot if it's with the wall, it's pretty, it's much easier for me. Nice. And then inhale, come back down. Nice, you guys. That was awesome. Okay, let's make our way to the floor. So however you can be here, you can sit on a block. Amanda, no block for you. You come all the way down. This is your pose. Now, make it a panini. Press those elbows into those thighs. Press your thighs into your elbows, right? Think about what's in your panini. Now, see if you can lift your chest up. See if you can lift your chest up. Yeah, nice. You're getting lower, Marianne. Nice. Good job. Good. Come all the way onto the ground. Nice. Let's take that left leg straight, lift and lengthen. Take your right leg on top, good. And then pull with your hands, lengthen your spine. Hi, Liz. Nice. And then take the crook of your right elbow into that knee. Sorry, left elbow. I went the wrong way. What else is new? Keeping you on your toes, guys. Bring your head in line with your shoulders. Find that length. Maybe this is as far as you need to go. Dig with that left heel. Pull that right uh, forearm, good. Or bring that left elbow on the inside of your thigh, take your right hand behind you, find that length, open up. Four, three, two, one, nice. Come back to center, and then maybe take that right knee on the left thigh, maybe it's here, maybe it's here, Maybe the other leg goes under, Amanda. Don't force this, Marianne. Amanda needs to do this. You don't need to force it. So you're rounding. I'd rather you be like this and be more upright. Yep. Yes. Yeah, or maybe you lean back a little and you're more upright. Good. And then from here, lift. Bring your chest towards your toes. Bring your chest towards your toes. Two. One. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Good. Switch legs, slide that left knee in. Good, bring the left foot on top, push that left foot down. Good, pull your shin, pull your shoulder blades back. Nice, and then take your elbow into your thigh, dig that heel down. 
Nice. Good, stay here, digging with that right heel or bring that left hand behind you, bring that right uh, elbow in between. That's too much for me, so I'm staying here. Nice, exhale, release. Bring that left knee onto your right leg. Most of you keep that right leg straight. Dig that heel, come forward. Nice. So when your right leg is straight, you're getting your hamstring and your left hip. When both knees are bent, you're getting both hips. Good, inhale, come on up. Nice. And then I wanna do um, camel pose, because we did a lot of prep for this. So hands on your hips. If you like that method, or as an A where I put the block between my feet, you can do that. You can squeeze the block between your legs, Liz Midgley. Good. Nice, roll the shoulders in, back and down, hands on your hips. Push those hips forward and weevil forward and back. Yeah, weevil forward and back. Good, now weevil back. Keep your hands here or maybe slide a hand onto your right thigh. Squeeze the block. Take your left hand behind your head. Find that length in your spine and squeeze. Yeah, you can grab your feet if you want, um, Amanda. Let your shoulders relax. Nice. Exhale, come on up. Switch sides. So I'm going to keep my left hand on my low back, my right hand behind my head. And then if you want to go back farther, and put your hand on your heel, you can. Nice. Exhale, release, yes. And then just bend your knees and release. I feel like this is the best postural pose. If you have rounded shoulders, I feel like it's the best postural pose. Now, we're either gonna do camel again, if that's what you want, or bridge pose on our back. So I'm more of a bridge pose on my back gal, but if you wanna do camel again, you can. Make your way onto your back or kneel if you want to. I'm just seeing what people choose. All right, everyone's on their back. Excellent. Let's put the block between our knees again. Strengthen those adductors. Good. Bring your arms overhead and then squeeze the block lift. Bring your hands next to you. Inhale. Good, bring your arms back. Exhale, come on down. Good, inhale, lift, squeeze. Exhale, bring your hands next to you. Good, inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, come on down. One more time, squeeze and lift. Arms next to you. Now, this time, if you want, Keep your hands there, grab the mat, grab an imaginary strap and press in the backs of your hands, pointing your fingers towards the ceiling or walk your hands underneath you. If it helps, lift your heels to give you more space. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Nice. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. And then put the block back between your legs. Bring your feet to the mat. Take your hands out to the side. Scoot your hips to the left. Take your knees to the right. Nice. Let the blocks keep your hips kind of in line. Squeeze your legs a little bit. Getting a little stretch in your hips and opening your left pec. Good, come back to center. Scooch your hips over to the right. Squeeze the block, bring your knees to the left. Notice if one side's a little bit less happy than the other. Nice, and then come back to center. I'm going to say you can do this with the blocks between your legs. 
I'm gonna see what you think about this, Liz Midgley, or no blocks. Do a little hip lift. And then either just send your legs up or squeeze the block. It's a little bit cumbersome, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna put it between my ankles, try that. Now, the reason I have the block there is it makes me activate my legs and squeeze them towards each other. If that's not helping you, I understand. Make sure you're pressing into the backs of your shoulders, the backs of your elbows, and you're squeezing your core, squeezing your belly, squeezing your pelvic floor, squeezing your legs in towards each other with or without the block. And then bring the block towards your face. Going within one vertebrae at a time. Nice, slowly make your way down to the floor. Nice. And then take the soles of your feet together, knees out to the side with blocks underneath, or take your feet wide, let your knees come together. Just take a moment in this nice neutral pose. <clears throat> 